In episode 34, I demonstrated two ways of making a circular pattern. There are other ways to do this, but an excellent tip was brought to my attention by Rob A. on our blog. Apparently one can click twice on the circle to get a center point. This center point can be dragged to any location, so we don't have to draw a path like I had shown. Let me demonstrate. I'm going to draw a circle. I'll move this around here. Now, if I click on this twice to get our rotation handles, you'll also see that I get a center point in the middle of my circle. That turns red, I'm allowed to pick that and move it anywhere I want. If I move it down here, for example, when I rotate, you'll see that I'm rotating around that center point. So let me back up, and I'm going to show you how to do this. I'm going to hold my control key down to move this center point vertically. Okay. Now, to pattern this around, what I'm going to do is hold my control key down, select our handle, and I'm going to let up off the control key and hit the space bar to stamp it there. I'm going to keep going all the way around. I'm holding the control key down. I'll stamp it there, hold the control key down again, and I'll stamp it there, and finally I'll go to the top and stamp it there. Now with the stamping, now let me delete that one, now with stamping what you can do is you can put multiple circles all the way around here. and if you use your control button it will pattern according to what you have in your document property so if you have 15 degrees or 5 degrees or whatever you can go all the way around there to give you an example of it what I could do is rotate this around and if I hit my stamp button I'm sorry my spacebar button multiple times you'll see what I can do with that that is another way of doing it in an excellent way. So thank you Rob A for showing me that excellent tip. Thank you for watching. I'm Heathen X.